What do you feel when you think of sharks? For most, it's fear. And who could blame you? Often when we hear about sharks in the mainstream media, it usually has to do with a shark attack. Shark attack. Shark attack. Shark attack. Close encounter with a shark. Shark attacks are extremely tragic. And yes, sharks are predators. But here's the truth. On average, only 10 shark-related deaths happen worldwide each year. As a child, I wasn't immune to this fear, and even as I got older and traveled, my fear has lingered. Despite having some encounters with smaller sharks over the years, the idea of encountering a larger shark has left me uneasy. Anytime I'm in the ocean, the thought nags at me. What if a shark appears now? Despite developing a fascination with sharks and learning to respect their role in the marine ecosystems, this fear has never really disappeared. So I've made a decision to confront that fear head on and get up close and personal with the very creature that haunts so many imaginations. My friend Callum and I have flown to South Africa's east coast for a journey unlike any other. Our goal? Come face to face with sharks in their world. Go! Mind you. <laughs> Mind you. <laughs> well, hello Callum, how are we doing? Very tired, but very excited. Very excited. <laughs> Callum and I are making our way from Durban to Umkamaz, which is about a 45 minute drive south along the coast. The town of Umkamaz is a starting point for many divers for their adventures in Aliwal Shoal, an offshore reef known for its incredible marine life and sharks. We're about 10 minutes out before we hit Aliwal Shoal, but I would be lying if I said that I wasn't a little bit nervous. I think it's pretty logical if you're going to be going into the water with sharks that you have some sort of healthy nerves but obviously this comes with a lot of excitement because i'm really really looking forward to seeing these animals in their natural habitat i was just looking at the ocean now where we could actually see now there's a bridge blocking my view but yeah that ocean looks flat 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 mean, yeah flat flat which means good diving conditions today hopefully fingers crossed our early morning start is all with good reason we need to make it to blue ocean dive resort before 7 a.m to join the two dives of the day this will also be our home and dive operator for the next few days. Looks like we've made it. After getting a welcoming introduction and seeing across the walls what we might be encountering, we drop off our stuff in the rooms and head straight to the dive center. In the dive center, we put our name tags on all of our gear, leave gear we aren't using in our dedicated crates and get all of our equipment set up for the dives. We've got the boats waiting for us over here for our trip soon gosh i feel now with like all the stuff happening everything getting set up now my nerves are 100 percent kicking in but i do think it's going to be good we're going to start with a debrief so that we know what we can uh, be waiting for once we hit the ocean when diving with sharks especially for the first time a good safety briefing is super important ray our instructor comes across as a no-nonsense kind of woman and gives us a proper debrief on how to prepare for our beach launch on the boat as well as what to expect once we get in the water giving us super clear instructions on how to behave and look after ourselves once the sharks approach us at this point i'm still trying to picture what it is going to be like surrounded by tons of sharks the shark species we will see on our dive today are the oceanic black tips although there are chances of seeing some others as well. Okay, so we're not going to point out the black tips that will be all around us. However, this is not big shark season anymore, <coughs> but it is the Indian Ocean. Anything can happen. Um, if you, however, we do see a tiger shark or a bull shark, this is the reason why we hang a second drum, is to bring them up to our level. So what I'm going to ask everybody, if there is a chance of us finding a big shark, who wants to see one? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. So let's not drop beneath the bottom drum. Safety number one. Okay. <laughs> Once we all understand what's about to happen, we drive down to the location where we'll be launching the boat from the beach. Well, we had to get over the waves to actually get here, which is a pretty bumpy ride. And now it seems like the calm before the craziness. operators here already so we're gonna come back for the baited shark dive and do our reef dive first which I'm excited about because it's gonna allow us to actually get into the water get comfortable in the water while we're here on alley wall before we actually get out there with the big boys I won't 
reply. I'm pretty relieved we will start our dives on the reef. This is our very first dive in Aliwal Shoal and getting used to the environment first before heading out on the baited shark dive I think is perfect to get used to this place a bit. Yes, Aliwal Shoal has sharks, but it also has so much other life living here. From the top everything looks blue, but as we go down the vibrance of colours and different marine animals start coming through. At the bottom I feel calm yet blown away that I'm actually here getting to experience this. However, this dive does also come with sharks. This dive site is called Raggy's Cave, a famous place on the shore. Every year during the winter months, hundreds of ragged tooth sharks congregate together here in this area to mate. And like the name says it, Raggy's Cave has raggies too. Their teeth are even scattered all over the sea floor here. At first I'm a little wary when the sharks start to approach me. Their big needle-like teeth look super intimidating. But soon I realize they aren't that interested in me. I get to observe them slowly and elegantly gliding through the water. This is my first time encountering sharks while scuba diving and the atmosphere is almost mystical, enhanced by the sounds and calls of the whales in the surrounding waters. But of course, stress had to kick back in when I realized I have lost my GoPro. Thankfully, as we head up, I find out our skipper found it floating at the surface. Thank goodness I had that floating camera grip on the damn thing. A bottle of rum. Oh, we can do that. We can do that. <laughs> that was unbelievable. Yeah. Oh my word. The raggies, ragged tooth sharks were everywhere. There were so many different species of fish. But now, time to relax because I'm already dead. I have no upper body strength to climb in this boat. Okay, what do we have here? We have pineapple. Pineapple. Yummy and healthy. Yes. Yeah. On the boats we enjoy our surface interval and relax time while we chat about our first dive. But then it is time to head off again, which can only mean one thing. It is time for our baited shark dive. Despite the fact that I love sharks and I've loved learning about them, I know that one of the potential sharks that are going to be in the water are the Zambezi sharks or bull sharks, which does make me nervous, uh, which I think is pretty normal, but we're just going to have to see how it goes. You want to give it a kiss? <laughs> Before we get in the water, the sharks are lured to the area with bait drums. These drums are filled with oily fish that give off a scent that attracts the sharks to the area. There are contradicting opinions about this practice, but I'll get into this a little bit later. For now, all I can say is that my mind is spinning. There's quite a difference doing your back roll off the boat when you know that there are tons of sharks waiting for you below. Once we head down, we are greeted by so many oceanic black tips. They are fast and with many, each swimming below, above and around us. I'm highly impressed with Ray. She has been a dive instructor with Blue Ocean Dive Resort for about 10 years and looks incredibly confident in the water with the sharks. And to my surprise, I found out she wasn't always like this. You were scared of sharks beforehand? I didn't trust them at all. <laughs> <laughs> all of us watched the movie Jaws <laughs> or our parents told us about you know, how dangerous sharks are. Um, so there was a little bit uneducated, didn't quite know, you know um, their place in the ocean. Uh, sooner or later that did clear up, I did find a you know, clarity of the sharks, real, real reason in the ocean and I ended up loving them. And now, how many well, shark encounters in the water have you had over the years that you've been in the water? <laughs> many, <laughs> and still many more to come. Yeah. <laughs> it's my best part of my day. At first my dive seems to be going okay. I'm able to watch the sharks in a way that I've never done before. Not on a screen, not from the news, but right here in the water with them. However, slowly but surely, the part of my brain that has been trained to fear these animals starts taking over. Eventually, I'm having a hard time to control my breathing, which also affects my buoyancy. I'm going up and down, which makes me freak out even more. But big kudos to the Blue Ocean Dive Resort team. This team is so aware of what is happening in the water and with the people they bring on their dives. Georgia spots me, wide-eyed, trying to somewhat calm myself, but she signs at me and signals that we will go up. All I can say is that I'm super disappointed in myself. I was hoping to feel okay and comfortable and really soak up this experience. But apparently, a lifetime of conditioning won this round. After 10 minutes of diving, I'm the first diver back on the boat. Wow. So although I was the first one on the boat, because I was freaking out a little bit, seeing them now at the top of the water, I'm like, wow, this is amazing. They're so beautiful. They just reinforces that love that I do have these beautiful animals. So I'm glad that it's ending on a high. Land. 
So let's talk about that dive. Obviously it didn't go as I would have hoped. Although I do have like a good general knowledge of sharks and I know that they are not man-eating destroyers or they're not out to get you. Um, I was nervous going in. Now, I do gotta say, at the end of the day, when I got back onto the boat, I was so disappointed in myself for giving up on that dive because I did really enjoy seeing those sharks. Those sharks are so incredible and they're not interested in coming to bite you or something. They are just there for basically the bait, but they are swimming around and they don't seem to be too bothered by you. So it was actually really incredible to see them in the water like that. But this is definitely a personal growth moment for me and I'm really glad that I'm doing it with a company like Blue Ocean because the people, the skippers, everything just is so well organized and they're very knowledgeable and they also did their best to calm me down at the point that I got on the boat. So fingers crossed I get a second opportunity to redo this baited shark dive and get to enjoy it a little bit more without freaking out. Yeah, what did you think of the shark dive? Oh, that was fantastic. God, there was just so many sharks. It was actually hard to know where to look. It was just, ah, it was crazy. Yeah, and at least you were comfortable, eh? Yeah, yeah, it was very, very comfortable. And there was just more sharks than I'm used to, but still, that just made it even more exciting. And a little yeah. one for the ladies. <laughs> Over the course of a few days, I got to spend more time and dives under the water enjoying Aliwal Shore. But now, on my final day, I get a redemption. Well, good morning, guys. Today is day, well, it is not my second day here at Aliwal Shore, but it is my second opportunity for the baited shark dive. And I do consider this like a redemption day. Obviously, the first day didn't go as planned, and there were a lot of things that were playing on my mind that were causing it but the nature of the sharks never changed. So today I'm hoping to do this dive justice and actually stay in the water longer and get to appreciate these animals and also learn to let go of that last bit of nervousness and fear. But I do still have some pre nerves so I've got to just be honest. Um, but we've got a great team. I've also got a more comfortable with the people that work here over the days and they are fantastic. So I think I'm gonna feel a lot more comfortable in the water today. Is this Ocean Cowboy also ready? Yeah. Ready? <laughs> Before heading out, we get another briefing because safety is of course priority number one. I'm excited for this dive because we're heading out with a part of the Blue Ocean team that Callum and I spent quite some time with. Slap that! Oh! <laughs> Instantly this dive feels different. I'm not scared, I'm excited. Having dived so many times over the last few days has definitely helped me to feel more comfortable in the water almost immediately. Now instead of worrying about my buoyancy, I'm able to check these creatures out. What fascinates me is their cat-like eyes. As I observe them, I can see them observing me back. We're just two different species eyeing each other up. For me, conquering this fear is not just to be able to say, hey, I dived with sharks, but it is to see and witness a species that is so highly misunderstood and badly represented. I don't want to over-romanticize them and say they are not dangerous, because they are predatory animals. But I do want to show that sharks definitely have a way too bad of a rep for what they are actually like. Sharks are crucial for healthy marine ecosystems, and where we tend to fear them, they should actually be the ones that are scared. It's estimated that around 100 million sharks are killed each year by humans. Yes, let that register. It's an almost unfathomable number, but yet these animals are slaughtered by the millions each year by us. 37% of shark species are threatened with extinction, so we need to start changing our perceptions, consumption choices and practices with mitigating sharks. Along almost the whole coast of KwaZulu-Natal on the east coast of South Africa, shark nets and drum lines give a false sense of security. 80% of sharks that get trapped in these nets are actually swimming back to sea from the beach. These nets kill thousands of sharks and marine animals. And for what? 
Luckily, Aliwal's shore does not have these nets, but sharks migrate and move along the coasts. Yes, baited shark dives are controversial to a certain degree. People argue that these dives change the behavior and there are some ethical concerns. But to me, a live shark is way more valuable than a dead shark. And this type of diving, when done correctly, is an opportunity for non-lethal interactions between humans and sharks. It provides research opportunities and can help conservation awareness by allowing people to witness sharks and garner appreciation. What was present though on both dives is the sheer amount of sharks with dislocated jaws, healed injuries and fresh hooks and lines from the fishing industry. I will leave your opinion about these dives up to you. But for me, this dive has changed my life and given me more fuel to advocate for sharks and bring awareness to them. Oh my word, I am so friggin' proud of myself. Where that first dive was so chaotic and I was just like, oh my word. Now everything went so calm and relaxed. And you know what? It's not the shark's behavior that changed. It's me that changed my behavior. They were just chilling and swimming around and doing their thing, but I wasn't panicking. And this gave me the opportunity to actually finally see them properly underwater. And man, <laughs> I am blown away. And just like that, our final dive at Aliwal Shoal is here. Yep. After a great shark dive, the energy is high. But before Kellam and I say goodbye to Umkamaz, we head out for one last reef dive and it's nothing short of magical. This place has a special energy, and today's dives are proof of that. For the shark lovers out there, Aliwal Shore offers something incredible with each season, from hammerheads to tiger sharks and even the occasional great white. But for now, it's time to say goodbye to the ragged tooth sharks and enjoy the calls of the whales as we are sent back to the surface. These sounds are so impressive. Oh, that was a great dive. <laughs>